fate of the troubled and Vigo dog breeding facility could be decided soon. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 11. I'm Eric Phillips. Deanna is off tonight. A judge is set to rule on the future of the facility on Monday. 8 News reporter Ben Dennis is live in the Digital Center tonight with what's at stake. Ben. Hey there, Eric, there's a lot riding on this federal hearing Monday on both sides of the issue. A judge had already slapped a restraining order on the dog breeding facility, temporarily stopping them from doing so. But that judge could decide their fate just next week. And this all comes after the facility was ordered to hand over hundreds of beagles. Violations brought to light through failed inspections and our ongoing 8 News investigation. Hundreds of dogs now seized and in order to stop breeding. On Monday, a federal judge is slated to decide on the fate of the Invigo facility in Cumberland. Dogs there meant for scientific research. Michael Budke with Animal Welfare Group Stop Animal Exploitation Now hopes a judge puts their foot down. Closing Invigo down permanently because that's what should happen. I expect that the judge will continue to take a hard line against Invigo. PETA has gone undercover. The feds investigated several times. Photos and videos show dogs kept in excessive heat, away from food, and in poor health. Invigo responding ahead of Monday's anticipated ruling, acknowledging recent inspections, but not the concerning details within. Also recognizing the temporary order that barred them from breeding, but did not mention if they complied, saying, the highest quality of animal welfare is a core value of our company and central to our business. Consistent with company policy, we are fully cooperating with DOJ and other involved authorities. As these are ongoing matters, Invigo will not provide further comment. If they were actually committed to the humane treatment of animals or professional standards or anything remotely like that, then this restraining order wouldn't exist. They wouldn't have all of these violations. And Monday's federal hearing is slated for one in the afternoon. Stay with us on air and online for how the judge may rule in this case. In the Digital Center, Ben Dennis, 8 News.